<laughs> hey, hey, it's week three of our marathon mm -hmm. training. How many more weeks to go? 25. 25. We have a couple of things to update you on this time around. Thanks for joining. See you in just a bit. So, <laughs> so we made it out today to one of our uh, favorite spots for our mm -hmm. three-week training, three-mile run. That's correct. That was hard to say. <laughs> okay. We did all right. It was 88% uh, humidity. Not too yeah. bad. Okay. It's pretty bad, it's, but it's, it, it, it's, it's not right. the worst we've ever seen. No, no. And so, uh, you know, we got out there, and it was a beautiful day. There are a lot of runners out on the trail. It's nice to see uh, a lot of uh, fellow today. runners. Yeah, yeah, it was really neat. And uh, we did okay. Now, here's the deal. Uh, we've told you that we're trying to run uh, at least twice a week. And our uh, weekday run is the run that incorporates fart legs. And uh, <laughs> uh, that has been really, really uh, um, surprising. Yeah, we're on week three. It's hard to say this is what's causing it, but we're definitely running faster. Yeah, we are. And today, it's not a fart lick, uh run. It's just a three-mile uh, three run. And it turns out our three-mile run today was uh, less than an 11-minute mile, which is that's like pretty unusual for us. Yeah. Yeah. So we're, we're thrilled. Uh, this is really, really cool. Uh, it's not something that we did last year. Uh, actually, or the year before last. Ever. Yeah. It's not yeah, something we've done yeah, ever. Never done. Yeah. So, so far, so good. Uh -huh. I did run into an issue. Ah, remember, I'm always talking about listening to your body. So, on our uh, weekday run this past week, we headed out for our uh, three-mile run. And again, incorporating Parlex. And about halfway into the run, my Achilles uh, mm. really started to hurt. It, it wasn't uh, like I tore something hurt, but it was really hurting. Uh, and then the, uh, the outside of my knee on the same leg started to hurt. Anyway, we finished the run. We had a really good average time. We felt, uh, you know, good about it. Uh, but then I, and then the next morning on our walk, I was like, Hey, you're limping. Yeah. Yeah. It was, <laughs> it, it was really kind of hurting and, and it had me yeah. worried again, if you hurt yourself or if you think you've hurt yourself, go see a doctor. Uh, do as I say, not as I do. Uh, <laughs> or I, I do research on the internet, which is what we did. Yeah, our doctor, uh, known as the web. <laughs> the Mayo Clinic. Uh, <laughs> runner, uh, runner's, runner's World. <laughs> yeah, Runner's World. So there was a really, really good video about, hey, are you having a, a little pain in your Achilles and outside of your knee on the same leg? I'm like, huh. So we looked at it. It turns out I have an IT band. We suspect. Yes, yeah, suspect. IT band stiffness uh, in my leg. So uh, really, really good video. Uh, but here is uh, the exercise, and it's me doing it. Uh, so basically, you use a, a roller, and you roll out your IT band. I got to tell you, it feels wonderful. It, it doesn't. It hurts like. It really does. Yeah. I, I don't have an appropriate. It, it, it hurts. But it's, it's, a, it's. Comparison. Yeah. Anyway. So uh, uh, the possibility is that my IT band is so tight, it starts to compress on nerves that are going to send a signal saying, ouch. Uh, so I started uh, foam rolling uh, on uh, Wednesday, uh, concerned that we wouldn't be able to run on Saturday because I, I was really hurting. Anyway, so I foam rolled, I foam rolled, and guess what? It, it's better. Uh, the run today was great. It, it did kind of kick in about halfway through the run. I started to feel a little uncomfortable, but it wasn't painful. So we, uh, when we got back, I foam rolled, and I'm going to do that from now on at least twice a day. So if you don't have a foam roller, get a foam roller. A matter of fact, we'll put a link to the foam roller that we inadvertently uh, advertised for in this video. Uh, it's great. It's uh, inexpensive, but man, those foam rollers are good. Uh, lots of exercises that you can do to uh, uh, help prevent injury and, and also help you kind of feel better uh, after uh, long runs, uh, the tightness. It, mm -hmm. They're pretty good. Anyway, so that's my update. Yeah. Oh, uh, what are the other uh, kind of I'm going to put fun in quotes here. Things that we did this week is um, 
we all know that core work is something else that will help um, with running. And, you know, sometimes when we've trained in the past, it's like, oh, maybe we'll spend a day and we'll do some planks or whatever. Um, we never really did it, I don't think, too seriously. Yeah. So this week, since David was having some problems walking uh, on our days when we probably would have gotten in a walk as our training, um, we instead went on a short walk with Millie and then came home and did a um, core workout. We've been, we're subscribed to um, uh, Apple Fitness Plus. Mm -hmm. Is there a plus in there? Mm -hmm. um, and it's really fantastic. We love it. It has these core workouts that are, I mean, in, in the most loving way, murder. Um, and so we we did a couple of those this week. And, um, yeah, we're feeling it a little bit. Yeah. Uh, so that's neat because, you know, if you try to do your own core, you know, you'll do some planks. Maybe you'll do some crunches or whatever. And sometimes it's hard to, like, come up with something else. Mm -hmm. So doing a five or ten, ten minute routine that somebody else has devised, you know, can help you work other parts of your core that you maybe forget about, like your back or, um, you know, your sides and things like that. Yeah, they've been so, great. Uh, and we... I mean, really, just, they're, they're really tough. <laughs> yeah, they are. But obviously, a stronger core is going to help you uh, run better. And, man, i got to tell you, the longest core workout they they offer is 10 minutes. And initially, we're like, 10 minutes? It's nothing. Oh, boy, wow. It is the most intense 10 minutes. And there's so many of them that, uh, I mean, you're not going to run out of uh, yeah. options. And, yeah, it's really, really tough. But, uh, again, like the like the uh, weekday training of uh, incorporating fartlets, it, it's just going to make us better runners. So That's our plan. Yeah. So uh, those are our updates. Uh, before we leave you, uh, we have found out that um, more resorts are uh, opening at uh, Disney World. So if you plan on participating uh, Marathon Weekend in January of 2022, uh, might be a good idea to check on uh, resorts at Disney World because uh, considering the number of people that have uh, shown interest uh, it might get harder and harder to find uh, an on-property uh, room during Marathon Weekend. So just a reminder, uh, check out uh, Disney World uh, Resort Availability and uh, book if you can. Mm -hmm. Let us know how you're doing. Hope things are going well. Hope your training's going well. Hope you're feeling positive and motivated. If you are, please share some of that with us uh, on this uh, really exciting journey. And again... Doesn't matter what we do, it's always an adventure with you. <laughs>